Okay, let's have a look at the real life client project to find out how much time Salt saves on events. So if you look on the left side, this is a real uh, client project and this is how many objects or AL files it has. As we can see, there's dozens of them. And so um, Salt, if we look specifically at events, Salt generates three code units uh, related to event subscriptions, one of each for different file uh, object types, for code units, pages, and events. So <clears throat> let's take at, uh, a look at the event one because it contains uh, changes which had been transferred from, from the Delta files because TextAL tool does not uh, automatically deal with uh, any of the changes on standard code units. And if we try to search for code unit here, we can see there's 35 different code units that had been merged into this single uh, event subscription file. And if we take a look at uh, all the custom code that had been generated, there's event subscribers, which had been created automatically from modifications. If we search for them, there's 168 of them on this file, which uh, in my opinion, on average, uh, one, one of, of these uh, events take uh, on average half an hour to to refactor so that would be 84 hours of work saved only only from dealing with the code units and and events related to them and not only that but also you get custom functions uh, copied over from from the code unit from the original code units. If we scroll a little, as you can see, there's functions which had been copied from the code units, which are probably referenced in, in, inside the events. So let's have a look at one, uh, uh, one specific case. <clears throat> so for instance, if we look at this uh, particular event, on before insert cap cap value entry <clears throat> we can see there's a block of code uh, block of custom code added here so let's see where it actually comes from <clears throat> and how developers would normally deal with it so i already have the delta that it was lifted from open here and if we try to search for on before insert cap value entry, we find this block of code. So what what is it? So inside of this code unit, which is actually item journal post line code unit, <clears throat> there's a modification on the post item procedure. And here we can see the original clean Microsoft code. And here we, we can see the modified code. So the modified code starts from it's it's it, it has been inserted in the in the Microsoft's code and starts from line 64 and I guess if we if we were able to calculate every line from top to to bottom um, from the begin word down we would probably end up around around this place where on before and set cap value entry is. So this is the event that gets picked up automatically by Salt because of, of its sheer proximity and being in the same scope as uh, as the mod modified on set code. <clears throat> and then it is found in the base application. I already have this uh, 
file open from the base application. This is the actual item journal post line code unit in the latest version. And if we find the same procedure, we can see what variables it uses, what parameters it uses. And those get copied over here and generated together with the event subscriber. And then, as we could see in the Delta file, this whole, whole code was in, encased in with item journal line do begin. So this gets added as well because that's the scope of this uh, modification. And then this code gets inserted as well. So well, most of the cases are very similar to this one. Uh, some, some are more difficult, require a bit more manual work. Some are simpler and can be completely automated like, like this one. Thank you.